So what are we doing now? We're going to do a bucket fill test to check the flow rate of the mass flow calorimeter system. That's right. This little flow meter is key to our calculations and our data streaming. And uh, we've designed the system to double check it at all times as we're filling buckets during the run. At any time we can do that and double check the mass flow rate. But before we even get that far, we're going to try it right now. This is test 2B in the plan. Hopefully it's not... Not to be. <laughs> okay, so you're going to change that and we need to, who, who's going to hit this? So when, I, when I open this valve, Brian hits start on the stopwatch and on his software. The software will log a one uh, saying that we are filling the scale. Um, I'm going to tear the scale right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, just tell, uh, there it tear is, the scale. Okay. okay. No. Countdown. Three, two, one, start. We have flow. So which one's got the flow rate on that? I'm aiming for 2.5. Okay, it's 2.495 on here, 2.487. And the water pressure varies a little bit, so... Our... Scale estimated running average or flow rate is right in the ballpark. Mm -hmm. Are we measuring temperature now? Because that changes the water density just a little bit. Um, we're not. Yes. We don't. Uh, it's logging. As long as we have the data. It's logging, but we're not heating the water. Right. Right. I understand that. Right. Okay. This is a point of reference. Sure. Mm, can't focus. Fortunately, where the flow meter is, it's on the cold side, which isn't going to vary by more than five degrees. Right. So we'll have very little variation there, as opposed to if it was on the hot side. Right. And we're going to run, what, five minutes? Yeah. Sounds good. Don't bump the, uh, the bucket there, Bob. No, I know. I'll change the weight that way. Yeah, and definitely don't kick the bucket. Uh, hey! So... They appear to be within about, well, our, our calculated running average from the scale reading is within about 10%. Um, the omega is reading 2.5, and the scale running average is about 2.4. Hmm. Not This will be fun to run the numbers on as soon as that log file is done. <laughs> After we do the 2.5, we're going to empty the bucket and then we're going to try it again uh, targeting uh, 1.75 and then 1.0. Okay, so let's look at the data. Yes, liters per minute. Liters per minute, yeah. So tell me which part of the interface we're looking at here. So we've got mass flow. <coughs> yeah, Correct. You, you. So this is the reading from the omega flow meter. Mm -hmm. This is the Arlen scale gram reading. Mm -hmm. From the gram reading, we take a 10 second running average, which is calculated here, and calculate a liters per minute from that 10 second running average from the, the gram reading. Mm -hmm. And that's this here, and you can see they're within 5% of each other, roughly. It'll be interesting to take the data file and make sure that uh the running average isn't off by 10%. Make sure that's being done right. I don't think we should run five minutes. The bucket will be too full. Let's let's go to four well, minutes. Well, we're on three minutes at the moment. Yeah. Uh, we could go five uh, and we're yeah. on, what are we on? We're on. Uh, we're on eight liters. Yeah, eight liters. Oh, is there, there's marks in there, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it's uh, yeah, getting we're up just to past eight. Getting up to ten kilograms, twenty-two pounds. So it's up to you guys if you want to carry a heavy bucket like that. We can uh, throw it off the balcony. Yeah, that's what I was say. <laughs> no, if no. if Ryan stands in the way, I'd say stop it at four <laughs> minutes. Be my recommendation. But so, are we measuring in pounds on the Allen scale or kilos? No, those are grams. That's are grams. they grams? Okay. So, 
There we go. Should be at 9,000 grams. Gonna hit the 10 kilos! Okay, if you wanna stop at any time. Well, it's coming up to 10 kilos. Okay. How, what, what, and you teared that with the bucket on it, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. So 9.9 .9 and 10. Tell me when you're turning it off. Uh, you mark, get set, and go. So, is it calculating something now, or is it? Well, so the running average is still calculating, but since the scale has stopped uh, changing, since we've stopped filling mm -hmm. it, then the running average goes down to zero. Yeah. Flow meter shows essentially zero. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, it's still calculating, but um, uh, it's not filling, so. So, so we have so. to record that number in the data log. Right. All right, my computer's sitting there, open to that document. I'll, I'll let you so that know. was uh, the first uh, flow test, uh, comparing the flow meter to the amount of water measured by the Ireland scale. Correct. I'm going to stop the log file. All right. All right. And we are informed that Me 356 has been preparing the fuel today. So. Uh, we're hoping we'll get a call tomorrow. Uh, we're pretty much ready, guys, aren't we? Hope so. Yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to get past you to dump this water. Okay. Through here uh, is the assembled heat exchanger. Uh, so this is off, off, and off at the moment. This is the output temperature, the input temperature is here. And this up here is the steam pressure release valve uh, which we will vent somewhere um, in case the pressure gets too high this is where the steam will come in through here water coming up reverse and down here through the steam trap uh, and out through a pipe uh, and then we will have a fitting on here and a fitting on here uh, to replace the current fittings and that will replace the uh, heater the dummy heater that's in the current flow calorimetry system. So essentially the heat exchanger input uh, cold side would go here and the hot side would go here and replace our dummy reactor here and the steam would be coming in the top and exiting through the steam trap at the bottom. And that essentially would be it, uh, replacing the dummy reactor. And then the second is 